Today, I am super excited to make this video, especially on Python in Excel. Yes, we can now write and execute Python code natively in Excel and no more add ins to install on Windows for writing the Python code. The new py function converts the formula bar into Python mode. You can easily import Python libraries like Pandas, Seaborn, NumPy, Matplotlib, and more. After loading the data into data frames in Excel, we can perform data analysis and build spectacular charts. In this video, I am going to cover step by step how to use Python in Excel for data analysis and how to build code for charts. Even if you don't know anything about Python, we can use Chart GPT to write the Python code for us. In this video, I am using financial data for demonstration. You can download the raw data file using the link provided in the description. Before we get into the topic, one thing to remember is Python currently available in Microsoft Office 365 and especially for beta channel. To enable beta channel in Excel, go to File, click on Account and click on Microsoft 365 Insider icon and click on change channel here choose your microsoft 365 insider channel you need to select a beta channel and click on agree to terms and conditions and click ok i have already enabled beta channel i don't need to enable one more time so once you click ok it takes hardly two to three minutes to enable the python mode I'm going to cancel now adding a new sheet to keep all my data frames into one place i'm going to rename data frames to change the excel into python mode equals to py and hit tab the cell and the formula bar both are changing into the python mode now you can write the required python code to execute here instead of that the shortcut key is alt control shift and p the active cell changes to python mode now you can write the any required python code importing the required libraries import pandas as pd and when you hit enter it, it nothing happens you have to press control enter now this changes to python mode now you see here it came as none type because the change the library has imported but i have not given any label to this i'm going to increase the formula bar to so that you can see the whole code and i'm going to give a label imported pandas now press control enter now the label is given as imported pandas here python uh, libraries now i am going to import the seaborn library equals to py hit tab and import seaborn as sb i am going to put the seaborn library as sb then hit enter I'm going to give the label name as imported C1. Press Control Enter. Now C1 library also is imported. Now I have imported the both two required libraries for this financial analysis dashboard. Now let's load the data into the data frame. I'm going to give data frame name as df. So equals to py df equals to now I need to select the entire data. Go to the data sheet. When the icon changes to uh, diagonal, you can click on this. Now I have selected only the data range. If I click one more time, I can also select the data headers. You can see the code. It has included the headers as well. Now press Control Enter. Now the data frame is loaded. You can see this uh, left side little icon. Now it is in the data frame mode. You can click on this. Now this will give you a preview of your entire data with the top five rows and the bottom five rows you can scroll through it it will show all the data click on anaconda icon it will take you to the respective website and you can learn many more things from here also 
going back to excel and now we will describe the data frame equals to py df dot describe this will give the basic uh, statistics of the entire data frame and hit control enter now the df dot describe command in the python object mode there is a little icon before the formula bar click on that you can see the similar icon matching to data frame click on excel value to see the data it analyzes all the numerical columns within the data and shown with the basic statistics like a row count mean standard deviation minimum 25 percentage 50 percentage 75 percentage and maximum value from the each of the columns by default describe command will take all the numerical columns available within the data suppose if i want to focus only on specific fields to analyze units sold sale price sales and profit only then how to write the describe command now let us ask chart gpt to write the code for us i have already opened the chart gpt going back to chart gpt and i have already written the prompt i'm just pasting the prompt hit enter now i can use this directly in my excel sheet copy the code go to excel use py then paste the code and hit control enter now the data frame is in the python object changing to excel value we will get only the columns that we focused to analyze this is how you can leverage chart gpt while writing the python code now let us focus on to build the financial analysis dashboard added a sheet fi called financial analysis this charts gallery is from seaborn official website you can pick any of this chart to analyze so let us pick up i'm going to take the disk plot right click and open a new website and let's see the code you can directly copy this code and use in excel before copying the code just wanted to show you the data set behind this chart right click on the load data set and open a new tab you can see the github link here click on the and here you can see the data so this is the data that they, uh, they have used click on this mpg.csv this will show you the preview of the data loaded in that example so these are the columns and this is the data i will provide you this link in the description you can use this data set for your practice copy the code head back to excel equals to ey and going to the formula bar and paste the code here they have imported the seaborn library it doesn't need for us because i have already imported instead of sns i'm going to use sbi as our seaborn library and i don't need this uh, data set to load i have already have a data frame uh, in changing sns to sb and instead of mpg i'm going to use df in the x-axis country the column axis segment hue is here i have done all the required changes here just press ctrl enter now it loaded as the image right click and go to python output as excel value now you can see this tiny chart here you can't even see this you can select multiple cells and merge and you can see the chart here with instead of merging the cells and see the chart just press ctrl z when you select the cell you can see this icon just click on it it will show you the chart just resize the required size move it around wherever you need now you can see for each segment one chart got created here and you can see year level 2013 is in blue line and 2014 is in purple line also the country axis in the x axis and the proportion rate is in the y axis now let's see an another chart here head back to c1 chart library i'm going to take this rel plot open in new tab copy the code head back to excel equals to py and paste the code i don't need c1 to import one more time my c1 library name is sb i don't need this data set to use because i have already data set i don't need this statement instead of sns sb rel plot just change all the parameters the required parameters x-axis units sold y-axis sale price hue country i'm done with the changes hit control enter when you press ctrl enter this has given error why because it says name error name mpg is not defined because my data frame is df since i used the old data frame it is giving error directly you can give df or else you can go back to your data frames list and pick the data frame press ctrl enter now i am getting the error for weight 
for the parameter size let me remove this size and hit control enter now the chart is loaded so right click python printout excel value now this loaded as a, a tiny object click on that and click on this linked object icon it will show the entire chart and you can resize however you need let's add the third chart head back to see one visual gallery i'm going to take the joint plot right click and open in new tab copy the code head back to excel in the formula bar equals to py hit tab paste the code remove the uh, libraries here and i'm going to remove the x axis and y axis going to add my own x axis x equals to df units is sold close bracket and y equals to df then double quotes sales close double quote close bracket give a one line help us to read well hit control enter closing this errors and right click python printout excel value click on this linked object and now this chart is ready you can resize going to reduce the formula bar and go to and remove the grid lines select all the charts and apply borders go to picture format apply border take border weight in the picture effects you can take shadow this is how you can write the python code to analyze your data in excel using python and to build this spectacular and amazing charts using python code in the first chart it is split at each segment level and analyzed the data and the second chart we have analyzed the units sold and sales price and their distribution by country in the third chart sales and units sold how they have distributed in the next video we will see how to utilize the slicers to make it interactive under dynamic dashboards in excel using the python code